Behind me is every Mario Happy Meal toy to ever release in the US. And to my side is an empty shelf with a bunch of tears. I think you know where this is going. There's seven series and 43 total toys spanning 34 years of games and movies that I spent an alarming amount on. So let's get right into this first set. What's in McDonald's Happy Meal? One of four Nintendo Super Mario Brothers 3 toys. Providing a little context, the year is 1990, and this beauty of a game releases in North America. And to help promote it, they released four Happy Meal toys that were very expensive to get my hands on, but these are really, really cool looking, like vintage toys. This is gonna hurt me a lot to open this because this plastic just feels different. Like, I don't know if the camera can really pick that up, but the newer plastic so much like thicker. This is like a bag. This is the raccoon tail Mario from Mario 3. Iconic, you know, same one on the cover there. And it looks like you just kind of set him down and I don't want to, I don't want to break this. So I guess there's not one of those plungers on the bottom to kind of stick it down so you can spring it. So this does not stand on the table very well. I mean, he kind of like wobbles around. I don't know if he's supposed to be like jumpy, but that does not work. I mean, Mario 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite Mario games. And this is such a cool little piece of history. It's so vintage and just classic looking. Like, look at how like pudgy Mario's face looks there. Like for that alone, I'm probably going to rank this higher than it should be. I want to rank these based on how fun they are to play with and how good they look. Actually, you know, I'm going to put this in B tier. Very cool looking, but for the functionality of it, it's kind of basic. So let's move on to Luigi. This one is definitely cursed. I mean, I'm just looking at this right now. Look at the way he's looking at it. Like that's not okay. That's not the Luigi I know. Mr. Luigi right here, he's on wheels on this cloud. Look at that face and tell me that he does not want to take your soul. But yeah, if you pull this back and then just... Okay, I don't know why he doesn't spin straight. Is that intentional? I mean, there's these little like divots on the bottom. I don't know if you can see those, but that might be affecting how it's spinning. So maybe that's the point of it. It's supposed to kind of be random like that, but... I'm really tempted to put this in the F tier, which is down here below the camera. You can't even see it because they should stay out of sight, out of mind. I don't know. It's a cool little piece. I have to put this probably in the C tier. I think that's an okay spot for it. And of course, we've got the Goomba, which I think just kind of jumps when you press it down. I don't know if that'll stick anymore. Maybe it's too old to do that. I think I'm just realizing it's not. Okay, so maybe it's supposed to be like steps on him and then he flips back and dies. That's actually kind of cool. I, I didn't think of that at first, but if that's the actual intention, this still works and I think it's gonna go B tier considering that. I mean, that that's a really cool uh, concept for a Goomba toy. I like that a lot. The Koopa Paracoopa, last one for Mario 3 here. Please don't demonetize me for this, but we're just gonna do that and then can I just pump it and it moves or something? Whoa. He kind of moves around, that's kind of neat. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a 1990 Happy Meal toy and it's cool that you can make a move without actually touching. That's kind of high tech for the year. So I think this is gonna go in B tier once again. But that's it for the Mario 3 series. We're gonna move on to 2006. Yes, it took 16 years to get another Mario series, but we got this box here with the Take the Mario Challenge set, which was supposed to encourage kids to go outside, which we probably need more of now than we did back in 2006. I heard each slip kind of explain something you have to do. And I think that's kind of cool. I want to accomplish all of these today, if it's possible. But this is the entire set. Looks like there are six of these. I don't know which one to start with. We're going to go with the Donkey Kong here, because I'm intrigued. All right, so Donkey Kong right here. Looks like pretty nice, pretty nice little packaging there. This is the Happy Meal bagging that I'm more accustomed to, not this plastic baggie. Now this is, this actually feels way more durable, way better. I don't know if those old ones are just decomposed or something. We gotta take a second to appreciate this Donkey Kong right here. I mean, that is that is some vintage Donkey Kong. That's iconic. That spins what's in there. I think they're gonna shoot up super high, so let's see what happens. <laughs> that didn't work. Catch the yellow disc five times in a row. Now try for a green disc. Okay, so maybe you're supposed to do this like up in the air and then let it loose, but we don't really have the space for that. I don't think I'm gonna do all these challenges. I'm not gonna lie. For the play aspect of it, it's probably higher tier, but like, what are these rings supposed to be? Why are they shooting out of a barrel like that? This is mid. I don't want to keep putting things in B tier, but I guess I'm expecting these toys to get better. So we're just going to set that there for now and move on to whatever this Yoshi is. <sighs> Give your friend a five second head start and try to tag him. Now try a 10 second head start. Okay, so it's just tag your it. That's not very interactive toys. Just go play with your friends. I'm really curious if this will actually make sound still. This will be the first one to do anything. Let's see. Switch the switch. Oh, do you hit a shell? 
So this is supposed to hold child fingers. He's supposed to hug your fingers, which is not gonna work for my big hands. And then I guess you're just supposed to tagger it, tagger it. It's not making that sound anymore. Unless you have to like really smack your friend like a For a display toy, I mean, there's really no good angle here. You show that side and it's like, ugh, and then you wanna show that side. And I guess that's I guess that's doable, but like his shoes are just green. It's really more of like an outside toy, so they didn't really want to give it too much detail and room to scuff up. But I mean this is kinda of cool. If the button worked, I'd probably like it more, but I hate to say it, this is probably gonna be another B tier. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be filling up really quick. So let's move on to this one here. Mario Tennis. Really intrigued by that. Okay. Oh, sh you get to blow these up? Mario Swing and Hit. Hit the ball with one end of the mallet, then the other. Try to do this ten times in a row. You can also play Hit and Catch with a friend. Oh, you're supposed to bite it. Got me. Okay. It works! The one side has Super Mario, the other side's blank, and then we got the little Mario Power Tennis logo. One, two. Buckle my shoe. That wasn't funny, please cut that. One, two, three, four. Ten. We did it, we did it. eleven, okay. I don't care where that went. We got eleven, let's go. We did the we did the challenge. The little design on there is top tier, and the mallet functions, that was a decent challenge that wasn't just go tag your friend with a different thing so I like that a lot I think it's cool and plus for Mario Tennis it makes sense to kind of like hit a ball around so we're gonna put this in here like that on the side because that's the only way it's gonna fit all right let's keep going here with another Yoshi let's see what we got going on here Yoshi pop and catch pop the ball up and catch it with your right hand then your left hand then behind your back how many times can you catch the ball so this is supposed to shoot up to your hands I'm wondering how high this goes I'm kind of nervous Oh, okay, we got to hit the ceiling. Smack, left hand, or right hand, left hand. Oh, we got it behind the back, okay. Okay, we did it behind the back, front bag, whatever, we did it. This one's kind of cool. I mean, it does what it's intended to do, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, for a display piece, it's kind of weird that Yoshi's mouth's just like, nom, nom. This is better than another Yoshi toy. This is, yeah, this, this is A tier. I think I'm comfortable with that. Mario Ball, which I've, I've seen this one before. I never owned it, obviously. I didn't get a lot of Happy Meals growing up, but that's... Solid. Let's see. Mario throw and catch. Get a friend to stand about three steps apart. Toss the ball back and forth, taking a step back each time. See how far you can throw it as you get farther apart. Okay, so that's another pretty standard challenge. Just go outside and throw something around. That's not all that innovative, but this Mario ball is awesome. This is the Mario Pinball Mario. This is actually like a really high quality ball, and this is kind of one of a kind. I really like how this looks. I mean, obviously it's just a ball to play catch with. This is a super simple design, but it looks really, really good. So this is got to go in the S tier. Our first one of the day. And it even stands up nice. So yeah, that's that's gotta go in S tier. Last but not least, we have the Donkey Kong Frisbee, which I assume is exactly what it says it is, right? Gather some friends and stand in a large circle. Take turns throwing the spinner at each other. Give yourself one point for each time you catch it on the fly. Yeah, this one's kind of lame. I mean, the sticker on it looks nice, but it's just a sticker. It's not a figure. And it's cool that these are little bananas that spin around it, but for something like the Mario ball, it's a ball that becomes Mario. This is just a stupid sticker on a Frisbee. So I don't like that. I'm going to put this down in C tier because it's just kind of super basic. But that's it for the Take the Mario Challenge series. I think next up we've got this box here, I want to say. Yes, this is the Mario Kart 8 line, which came out in 2014, along with Mario Kart 8, obviously. So this one has eight toys. Toys, and I have nine in here because they re-released this set in 2022 under just Mario Kart, I guess because of the popularity of Tour. But all they did was take out this toy here, the little Mario cap, and they replaced it with a Toadette racer, which we'll get to all of these more in depth. But for right now, I just wanted to clarify that. So we have to start, I think, with Mario here, of course, you know, the plumber himself in the standard cart. But all these carts come like just plain white and you have to stick the stickers on yourself, which is right here. I'll probably do that at a later point, but if I do that for all these carts, I'm gonna be here all day. It's a decent enough looking toy, it, it, it rolls, you know? The stickers, if you place them right, it'll look like the right standard cart. It's fine, the Mario looks a little Weird, his face looks kind of strange, but this is a, you know, a B. This is a solid Mario toy, it's not anything crazy, but it works. Luigi, in the Mach 8 cart, 
which I like a lot more because it's not just plain white and the stickers are just for those little smaller details, but I just don't think they know how to make a good Luigi toy. Like, look at it, look at his face. It's just so, like, demented looking. I mean, it, you can tell it's Luigi, obviously, the little green hat and the, the longer face, but the side profile, it just, it looks so, like, derpy. I, I don't know, man. I, I love the Mach 8, the Luigi Death Stare, and for that alone, I want to put it up in A tier, but I can't get over the face, dude. It's got to go in B tier. This Bowser just has no detail at all. I mean, look at how he's looking. I get that it's supposed to be a smaller toy, but like they really compromised the detail for this set. I like that it actually rolls, but this is a subpar Happy Meal toy. And I think, no, this, this Mario looks like crap. I'm like 95% sure I had this one. It actually looks a lot better. I mean, that looks like Princess Peach. It doesn't look demented at all. I definitely think this is the best looking one of the set. And like, obviously Peach uses the bike in the Mario movie too. So this has got to go probably in the B tier along with Luigi, but again, not great, but probably one of the better ones of the set. DK doesn't look too bad detail-wise. This one looks better than the Mario and Bowser, but again, it's it's B tier, you know, like the Mario Kart toys, there's nothing like cool and gimmicky about them, but they do work. B tier seems like a good spot. Yoshi time. Yoshi's head spins, ladies and gentlemen, it spins. And he can just stare at you while he's moving backwards. I'm gonna put this in B tier again, because it's a better Mario Kart one, but it's still just that. Toad. Another standard cart, kind of basic, kind of mid, you know, who really cares? I can't put that higher than C tier. The last one for the 2014 set would be the Mario hat, which yes, I'm going to put on. Just give me a second to open this here. Let's uh, see if it fits this little visor here. It does. Okay, that fits an adult head. Not not actually, but I mean, it kind of, it kind of kind of works. You know, this is a piece of plastic, obviously, and it's not very comfortable to wear, but if this fits your head perfectly, you could probably get away with wearing this for a day. I mean, for like a display piece, it's probably the coolest one of the set. Again, I, I think this is gonna be B tier. I know it didn't come out until 2022, but Toadette looks decent. I mean, it looks like Toadette. I'm just gonna throw this back down with Toad in the C tier. That's it for the Mario Kart toys. We're finally through those, so we're getting on to this side with the 2017 Mario line. There's no game these are associated with, it's just Super Mario. But there's eight of these toys, and they are looking a lot better than the ones we've been dealing with. So I think we're gonna start in order this time, because I think that's gonna make sense for these. So let's start off with, boom, Jumpman, Mario. Okay, so there's a button on the bottom. So you set him down. When you lift it up and the button comes down, it's gonna make a jumping sound when it, when it goes back down. That, that's kind of cool. So if we incorporate that with the Goomba, we should have a full-on Mario scene here. So he's moving, you know. Kill the Goomba and land. Sorry to adjust this now, but after seeing all these B tiers, I think the Goomba might actually be A tier because that's super cool. And this Mario, like the sound effect, you know, it's just a simple, like it's nothing special, but this as a Mario toy looks exactly like him. I don't know what this blue blob that he's standing on is, or like what it's supposed to be. And it's kind of, you know, screams cheap Happy Meal toy, but that's exactly what it is. I think I'm gonna have to give this one A tier. I think this is a really, really nice looking toy. And I like that the sound effect, you know, works and works so well with the Goomba. So we're gonna put those two next to each other because they both deserve to be an A tier, I think. Number two is Yoshi. We found it. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, you just step on his back and he sticks out his tongue. You just jump, boom. Iconic. That that looked kind of weird. We're gonna we're gonna stop there. This Yoshi here looks like such a good high quality statue. I mean, for toy functionality, I think this is simple but effective. I think this is gonna go up here in S tier with the Ball Mario just because of how good it looks and how practical and functional it is. So Luigi's in a tunnel for some reason. I don't know why. Look at this. This is actually really cool. Look at that. That is a great looking Luigi. So there's a little trigger in the bottom of the tunnel, and then when you <laughs> that looks so funny. And then when you set it down. Yeah, you can launch Luigi out of tunnels. That is awesome. That looks cool. That's a lot of fun. I think this is going to be another S tier. Like, like this 2017 set is on so far. I don't want to jinx it, but two S tiers and an A tier so far. So maybe it's just because the other ones are really bad, but let's just keep going on this high note. Okay, so number four is a one-up mushroom, which I think makes a noise. Oh, there's a button on this one too, so when you pick it up, it makes a sound, right? The sound's broken on it. Wow, it, it's six years old. How is the sound broken on it already? Besides that, it's just a standard one-up mushroom. It's a nice looking toy, but it's just kind of mid. So we're gonna put that in B tier for now. And move on to number five, which is Invincible Mario. If this one doesn't light up, this is gonna suck. But if it does, it's gonna be an easy S tier. He does. Okay, look at that. The little fading colors. That is Invincible Mario. He does change colors like that. I like the concept of it. it it's a cool toy. With that considered, I think that kind of automatically gives it a tier next to regular Mario. Let's see what we got. 
here. This Bowser, first and foremost. I mean, it's the first one I've ever seen that has a different color spike as opposed to the shell, which is automatically a very, very good sign. I think if you display it with the fireball in its mouth, it actually looks like a really, really cool Bowser toy. So it comes with two of them, which is kind of cool. They definitely could have just given one and been fine with it. But yeah, so it looks like you just kind of do that and then... Burr. Whoa, that thing, that thing launches. Check this out, right? I'm gonna hold it over here, right? Arm fully extended. Easy, easy S tier. Just because of how far the projectile goes and how good of a Bowser it is. So far, this series is elite. Peach. So it's designed to be spun around, but the issue with that is the fact that the back of her has two giant screws on it. So like, that's not very ideal. I think this is a lot better than the Mario Kart one, but in essence, it's the same thing. There's a wheel and she moves, but I mean, at least this one kind of spins and has a cool gimmick, but nothing crazy. I definitely give a B tier, but this is a high B tier. I think we're gonna start rearranging some of these because I'm looking at it now and I just don't want as many of these up here as I initially thought. So Donkey Kong and Yoshi, I'm gonna move the entire Mario Kart 8 series down. Those just don't look good. I've got to move this Yoshi down too. I just, so I think this is a better tier list. Sorry to change this up on you so quick, but that's where we're at now. We're gonna move on to the last toy of the 2017 set, unfortunately, because this has been such a, such a good time. I'm used to these bad toys so far, but looks like this one you just pull back and it shoots like a red shell in Mario Kart. He's just kind of coasting along, you know, da -da -da, and then you just go boom. Okay, that didn't that didn't work super well, but I don't know. This one's kind of basic. I want to put this on the same tier as the one up because it looks, you know, dead on like a red shell. 2017 line is without a doubt the best one we've done so far, but now we're moving on to the 2018 line, which is the last one I have in the box here. Mario and Cappy from Mario Odyssey. So this one's super cool because obviously in the games, you know, Mario's throwing Cappy and like that's really awesome that they made a figure out of that. And these also look phenomenal. Like look at the detail in the Mario there. And that is such a cool pose. It's such a Mario Odyssey pose. I love that. And the, the target here gives you a cool little challenge to do. Taking inspiration from the Take the Mario challenge back in 2006. Yeah, I love that he throws the hat actually and just how nice it looks. So this is automatic S tier, great Mario figure. So far, we're off to a great start. So this is the only Happy Meal toy that I actually had before buying all this. This is a fun little toy. It looks cool because obviously it's not the level on it. But like, yeah, you just pull that down, ball goes down and then aim for something good, mess around with that for five minutes, then put it down and never play it again. So like not really anything special about it, but we're gonna put that down in B tier, decent. Number three is Yoshi. Okay, so he's on a cloud like Luigi was in that old school set. Oh, okay, so there's little grooves in the side of the cloud that you're supposed to rest these on, I guess, and then you just pinch it and it goes. Yeah, okay, so there's no wheels on it, nothing to make it go faster, but yeah, just kind of, it's probably the worst one of the set. I mean, it still looks solid, but I think it's going to go down in C tier. Okay, number four, we got these blocks here. How does this work? What is this? I'm doing it. Comes with these little stickers. I don't know what to do with those, but this one's kind of trash, not going to lie. <laughs> this one's going to go down in C tier. It's just, who really cares? It's not cool to display. It's just a stupid block. Another Mario. Right here with the little question block. Oh, sick. Okay, so you, you push down on it like he's hitting the block and you try to line up the three stars. So let's see if we can do that. Let's just hit that. We got it. Okay, so I just hit it super big in Mario Roulette McDonald's toy. I am now a gambling addict. I will see you guys later. I cannot control my addiction. I'd say for displaying, it's like awesome, but as like a toy for a kid, I mean, there's just a giant block attached to it. I wouldn't really like that, but I'm gonna put this in B tier. Yoshi Bingo game. Let's see what it does here. I guess you just push the button and oh my God, it comes with bingo cards. Are you kidding me? Comes with chips, two Yoshi boards. You can actually play bingo with this. Set that up kind of like that and just boom. Oh, that's cool. So when you let go, it stops it or you can let it spin out and you know pick for you or you can go like that stop that stop i'd probably put this above that mario not because it looks cooler but just because like it's probably more fun to play with especially because it comes with bingo boards and little chips like that's that's really cool they really thought that one through definitely a high quality toy finally i was wondering when this fire luigi was going to come up i guess this is number seven in the series for some reason but okay so it looks like you just fold those little tabs back to make goomba and koopa <laughs> stand up and then from there you put the disc in luigi's hand dude they're, they're trembling all the way wait, wait. 
Okay, so that doesn't really work all that well. There's no like divots in the fireball here. There's like little holes in it, but I don't think Luigi's thumb fits into them to like hold it any better. Because of that, I'm gonna give it B tier because it still looks like a really good toy, but it doesn't function how you would want it to. Okay, so this one's a double-sided maze. It looks like you can get it down here and then it goes through the hole there and then it moves into the other maze. I really like the gimmick that it's two-sided, you know? Because of that, I probably want to rank it a little higher, but there's just no replay value here, man. It's a stupid little maze. Like, I'm gonna show the Luigi U side and put this again in B tier. And with that, that is every single Mario Happy Meal toy leading up to the movie set, which I've already opened. So we'll get through these very quick. Now we're gonna start obviously with the Mario in a tunnel. This is how far we've come. How, how cheap Happy Meal toys have gotten. Like, look at that. You just press it down and he pops in and out of the tunnel. It's super basic, but it does look just like the movie Mario. And there's no tunnel Marios that look cool yet. So I think that is a decent A tier to start with. And then we're gonna move on to Luigi. This one is stupid to play with because you literally just turn him with a little notch here and it's like so, so dumb. Like why would they even put that there? Just make it a solid plastic Luigi. That's not a gimmick, it's just stupid. But Luigi does look good and it's a full body one. So I don't wanna put it lower than the Mario, but I'm looking at the other B tiers and I feel like this would slide in perfectly with those. So we're gonna put it right near the other Luigi. The Princess Peach Mario movie toy. Look at that face. That had me worried about the Mario movie just because of how creepy it looks. The gimmick here, it's a little top that you can use your hands to spin around. You could kind of go like that. The plastic doesn't really hang out much from the rest of the dress. So it doesn't spin super well because they want it to stand upright, obviously. So I'm not gonna lie, this is this is awful looking. When I set out to make this, I knew I was gonna put this in F tier, but F tier is empty and I'm looking at D tier and it looks like it would fit in perfectly with those. So we're gonna set that back there, Garbo toy. Bowser is another huge step back because I thought we were getting another Bowser that would launch something like the one up here, but instead we get this one. You put the fireball in his mouth and it's supposed to spin the back of his shell to make the fire spin. I don't know who thinks this is fun. It just doesn't work all that well. And plus again, the spikes are not painted, which is points knocked off. This one looks like the movie Bowser, you know, Jack Black. I'm gonna put this in B tier because it looks decent, just like the Luigi, but there's no substance to it. So we're gonna move this Donkey Kong spinner back and put Bowser up there. Moving on though, we got the Donkey Kong, which is definitely movie Donkey Kong. The little thing on his back makes him spin, you know, do the whole like, whatever that is, but like, he kind of winds up his punches like he does in Smash Bros, you know? I think this is a good toy. I would probably put it up in A tier because it's probably equal with that Mario. I like that you can wind up his punch. Maybe I'm giving it a little bit more credit than it deserves, but it's my list, that's what I'm going with. I don't know why they gave Lumily a Happy Meal toy, but they did. And it looks just like the Lumily in the movie. I mean, it's probably the most accurate figure of them all because it's a super, you know, basic and simple character design. It spins like it does in the cage in the movie. I mean, for what it is, like, you can't make a Lumily toy better. So, you know, S tier, but I don't want to put it up there because it's, it's freaking Lumily. So I'm going to put this in A tier. We're going to move on to the Toad in the cart from the movie. The toad in here though does not have sunglasses, so that really hurts it in the ranking. It does have wheels that move, and they are big monster truck wheels, so that is, that's something it has going for it. It's probably better than most of those, but a lot of those have the wheels too. I don't think it's quite as good as B tier. I'm gonna put this down in C, just cause it's, you know, a cart toy, toad looks a little weird. And the last toy of the entire video is this carted Mario from the movie. This toy is garbage. I hate this one. This will be my only F tier of the video because it looks like it has wheels, right? It's a, it's a cart, you know? All those other cart ones suck, but this one is equally as bad in the character design. Like, look at that. And also he's way smaller than the other movie Mario. It's just not practical at all for size. It's, it's, it's stupid, right? This one's trying to be all cool and be like, oh, you know, we put a little rolling ball on the bottom so you can like make him drive and like spin or something stupid. But this ball barely rolls. When you have it this way, it obviously does, but when it falls down, it really has a hard time rolling and it just doesn't, the wheels do not spin. This is not a cart. This is the cheapest Happy Meal toy I've ever seen. The worst Mario Happy Meal toy, bar none. And this has got to go only F tier of the video. That's what I'm going with, the end. Okay, so here's the final rankings. On the S tier shelf, we've got five toys. Any one of these, if I would have opened a Happy Meal and got one of these as a kid, I would have loved them. Down to A tier, you know, pretty fun. Either they look really cool or they're a good time to play with, you know, pretty solid overall. Then B tier, just kind of average Happy Meal toys. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Decently high quality, but nothing that really stands out. And then down to C tier, we moved a lot of the Mario Karts down here because looking at the B tier, like those are not, these are not the same level as those at all. So 
these all these all deserve to be down here most of them are in carts or like move like that if you didn't already notice and the frisbee you know does nothing and then down here the lone f tier is the stupid mario movie mario kart because screw him and there you have it that is every mario happy meal toy ranked thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please drop a like and subscribe for more and uh yeah i hope you have a great rest of your day i will see you in the next video mario movie mario kart out